What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Turn to the Game here, back on my jumpstart. Third Grand Adventure of Mountain, this is episode 23. And we'll try to get our next missing clue, our final mission clue, and get our next robot saves. Here we go. Huh. I'm getting a strong clue reading in the observatory. Oh, of course. Back in here again. That figures. Time to head to the void. Uh oh. I'm picking up vibrations that tell me that Polly's launched another one of the mission clues into space. So you and your friend really like the thrill of venturing to the brink of nothingness. Uh. When will she stop? Why, if I was her father... Mm, just click on the telescope and I'll help you save the world. That snarky little brat, and yet I love her so much. <laughs> I just love her attitude. Polly's transmission and our hint. You better act fast before it's sucked into the black hole. Polly's hints are six it. radio packets good. It looks like a shower of comets is approaching. So watch out! Nice shooting. Fantastic. You destroyed an asteroid. Nice shooting. You got a radio pack. And, whoa, you turned away from the comet just in time. Okay, watch it, I guess. Fantastic. It's great. You got another radio wave packet. Nice I you got a radio packet. Great. You got another <laughs> radio wave packet. Fantastic. All right. You got all the radio packets. Now we can decode Polly's hint. Here comes Polly's message, fresh from the brink of the black hole. Too Get easy. ready to use a decoder. <laughs> Hmm. Once again, it's all my tail when I'm angry. Obviously, she's Obviously doing that snake. on purpose. Click yeah. and drag the block. Once again, it's all Obviously, she's doing that on purpose. Well, no shit, Bobby. I couldn't make any sense out of that, but you managed to find a real sentence. Great. Easy enough. Hey, you made quick sense out of that messy sentence. Of course they did. There's more to be done. My stinger is deadly to anyone I sting. Hey, you made quick sense out of that messy sentence. Oh, wait, there's more to be done. Can you find the scorpion in the sky? Scorpio, it's too obvious. Great! You decoded the entire hint. I curl is broken. my tail when I am angry. On the tip of my tail is a stinger. My stinger is deadly to anyone I sting. Can you find the scorpion in the sky? Scorpion, scorpion. Okay, so easy. one scrum. Okay, click on any of the constellations. Here somewhere. Scorpio, where are you? Scorpio. The Zodiac is the name for 12 ancient constellations. I didn't hit that button. Some people believe that the positions of the sun and the planets against this starry background can change their destiny. Where the hell is Scorpio? Maybe he's in the other one. Ah, there he is. Scorpio is the shape of a scorpion with its tail curved upward to sting. The scorpion's sting is deadly. Scorpions come out at night, just like the stars, and creep into bedding, shoes, and clothes left on the ground. Hear that? You must be right. And here comes the spaceship. Damn straight up. Now put the clue into the inventory for safekeeping, then head on out. The world depends on us. Of course it does. I hope you're ready for more adventure, because we're ready to get into the time machine. Just click on the door and back. Hold on, man. Alright. Now normally we go to the time machine, but I want to get some extra... We should go to the time machine. So first, we're going to play some extra games. Where is the time machine? We've got everything. Looks like the door is locked again. We'll have to figure out the password to open Ooh, it. This is a tricky one. Hey, Beethoven! 
please. I'm trying to finish the symphony. But I'll be here if you need help. Okay, obviously. Monkey! Man, you're really moving! Slithery! And snake. See? Snake! You've got a real talent for this! Why, thank you. A big wild cat! A lion. Lion! Hey, way to go! A striped horse! Zebra! Zebra! Well, you got Animals. all the words. Now... It's too easy, probably. Anyone can figure that out. That is right! The password is animals. Well, of course it is. Hey, you got us in the door. Let's go. Palio, 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 palio. We're ready. ready. <laughs> All right, Botchley. Time to sing for your supper. <laughs> I want to hear it like it was meant to be heard. She's like, all right, back sleep. Click on the music tablet to play that too. For your server. <laughs> I like that. The music is all a mixed yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, I know what. If you want to hear how it's supposed to sound, click on me and I'll play it for you. To yeah, 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 yeah. I know how this works by now, man. I've done this a million times. This is tricky. Oops, wrong one. This one goes first. Okay, that one's good. Tough one on the glass too, so let's just think carefully. Okay, so I know. 
this one goes fourth, and then one that one in that second goes last. Play it and get on the two points. I'm the man. I am the man. I am the man. <laughs> I think that's what the composer hmm. had in mind. To hear the pieces, it was. Shut up. I waited it flipped the wrong way. I think that's what the composer had in mind. Shut up. That's it. That's it right there, baby. Whoa, kind of avant-garde. But I think Polly had something more traditional in mind. Rearrange the chips in a different order. Hmm? Kidding me? Okay, let's try this one then. Got it. Yeah, I'm the man. I'm the man. This sea chanty was sung by sailors as they lifted their heavy anchors. It tells the story of a young man who fell in love with the daughter of the Indian chief Shenandoah. I guess we don't have time. Well, put those invention points in your inventory so we can continue saving robots. Indeed, friend. We've got everything we need to complete this mission. And since time is of the utmost importance, let's get to the time machine immediately. Roger that. Alright guys, we are off to the time machine. And I know I said I wanted 5,000 to be our, our best score. But we'll get that in the next mission. Since this one's about done. So let's head to the time machine. Roger we should not. go to the time machine to- Let's get to the time machine and finish this one off. We made it! We got all the clues, we've got enough invention points, now let's go into the time machine. Click on the time machine door in the back. Let's roll. Alright, things are going well. We're back at Mission Control, but before Didn't we do we anything get here else, that fast. we need to use the Wheel of Invention. Let's go play some Hollywood Squares, boys and girls. Ladies and gents. <laughs> applause! Applause!
Buzz, hey, you're doing great. Start the wheel of spinning by clicking the on button. Time for some more Hollywood Squares with your host, Monty Monitor. <laughs> Coming at you from Mystery Mountain, it's Pollywood Squares, <laughs> a show like that. of shows that shows you how to rescue Slide. He's the heavy metal robot, and he's out to change the world. Your first clue is Coming a spider's Mountain, web. It's Hollywood as long Square. as you don't get caught in the web, <laughs> like you'll that. discover what this mission is all about. A spider Layton, what? <laughs> web is nothing but a set of strings that sends messages to the spider. When the strings shake, the spider knows a bug has been caught in the web. How does the web tell the spider it's dinner time? Vibrate. Cool! The struggling bug makes the strings vibrate all the way to the center of the web, where the hungry spider lies waiting. When something vibrates, it makes a rapid movement back and forth or up and down. Which part of your body vibrates? Eardrum. Here, here. The eardrum yeah, is a here, tiny yeah. flap of skin inside your head that vibrates when sound travels through your ear. The brain translates those vibrations as hearing. Which of the following would make your eardrums vibrate? Heavy metal music. You broke another record. Yeah. <laughs> were the first machines like, you ever broke another to record. record and playback sounds. Sounds great to me. Looks like we're headed for the <laughs> invention of the phonograph. Stop making sound puns, Bartley. Your second clue is a broken pot. It can't hold water, but it can tell you who invented the phonograph. In the schools of ancient Egypt, students practiced an important skill on useless broken pots. After they improved, they were allowed to practice this skill on papyrus, a precious kind of paper. What skill did Egyptian students practice on broken pots? Probably writing. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> right did on. You know I get it. <laughs> that boys went to school in ancient Egypt. Egyptian girls received all their education at home, and they never learned how to read and write. Oh, that's interesting. Isn't Writing that? is an important part of education. Where does education begin? In kindergarten. No, education starts sooner than that. Okay, at home. An educated guess. <laughs> education oh, begins at birth and never stops. What famous inventor of the light bulb was educated at home and got only three months of formal schooling? Mr. Thomas Edison. Home run! Even though Thanks he only spent reference. three months in school, Thomas Edison became the world's most famous inventor. He came up with the electric light, motion pictures, and the phonograph. Hmm. So we're going to visit Thomas Edison as he invents the phonograph. Keep going, you're doing great. Your third clue is a balloon. Hold on tight. The balloon will carry you away to when in history the phonograph was invented. <laughs> Balloons float because helium is a gas that's lighter than air. Helium's also purer than air. So if you want to preserve something precious, put it in a case filled with helium. <laughs> what precious thing is preserved by helium? Ah, uh, shit, I don't know. U.S. flag? The flag is displayed on flagpoles. Constitution? Terrific! The Constitution of the United States is over 200 years old. It's kept in a glass case in Washington, D.C. Helium keeps it from decaying. Huh, I did not know that. The Constitution of the United States protects people's rights and liberties. Which of the following is a constitutional right? Well, it's obviously voting. Yes! The Constitution guarantees the right to vote to everyone over the age of 18. Thomas Edison invented an electronic voting machine which helped people practice their right to vote. Hmm. Not uh, voting either. electronically was made possible in 1868, nine years before the phonograph was invented. When was the phonograph invented? 
94. Uh, let me see, before it was invented, be, I think, 77? You won! Ah, ah. Edison invented the phonograph in 1877, nine years after he invented the electronic voting machine. Don't bother packing your CDs and tapes, because it looks like we'll be traveling back in time more than a hundred years. <laughs> yeah, I don't think those work back then. Your fourth clue is cotton candy. Please don't eat it. It's here to tell you where your mission will take you. Cotton oh, but candy I want cotton candy. Is a sugary treat guaranteed to make you smile. Then, it gives you cavities that ruin your smile. Cotton candy looks like cotton, but it's actually spun from sugar. Sugar comes from what kind of plant? Tree, I think. Nope. Try again. Nope. Try again. Sweet success. Sugar comes from sugar cane, which is a special kind of grass. I did not know that. Grass is one of the largest and most varied families in the plant kingdom. Which of the following is also a grass? Elephant, probably ivy. Nope. Try again. Uh, bamboo? You're not easily bamboozled. <laughs> bamboo <laughs> is the tallest grass bamboo. on earth. Some bamboo grows three feet every day. Although tropical bamboo doesn't grow where Thomas Edison worked, he needed bamboo to invent the light bulb. Where did Edison invent the light bulb? Shit, I don't know. Jersey? Great going! Thomas Edison passed electricity through a bamboo wire and made it glow. In his laboratory in New Jersey, Edison also invented the phonograph. Success! We did it! In 1877, Thomas Edison invented the phonograph at his laboratory in New Jersey. Hold on to your guitar slide. We're on our way. Thanks, Monty. All right, here we go. Back in time. Ready for another ride? Click on me, then. Hold on. You got it. How does this sound? A trip back in time to the laboratory of Thomas Edison. He's about to become the first person in history to record the human voice. Testing, testing, quiet in the lab. Edison is about to cut his first record. But what's Sly doing back there? Is that heavy metal robot plugging in his guitar? Whoa, dude! Edison's recording wicked riffs. We better pull the plug on this concert. Hit the recall button before Slide starts in with an encore. Ah, uh -huh. but I kind of like that in our riffs. Oh, you well. need to press the recall button, or we'll never defeat Polly. All right, Bartley, shut up. Much better. Edison is recording the words to "Mary Had a Little Lamb," a kinder, gentler debut for the world's first phonograph. Make sure your seat backs are in their upright lock positions while I take us home. Ah, oh, there's no place like home. Back at the robot roost, and we've added another robot to the collection. Oh, Blotly, you're such a party pooper. Well, just because you got lucky that time doesn't mean that I have to start worrying. There are still more to come. No time to pat ourselves on the back. Select another question so we can save another robot. Click on the inventory to start a mission. Indeed, and we'll be doing that in the next episode, people. So, till next time, it's your boy, Chum Seek. Chum Seek, and we're signing out. Remember, if you're to do, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to support me on this channel. And as always, keep it charming.